So for the longest time, I have been asking myself these questions: What is my life purpose? What am I supposed to be doing here? Why am I here? And is there life beyond death? Why are we all so afraid of death? Why am I afraid of death? Why am I so afraid of the unknown? So that began my journey to search for these answers, and it all began when I was a flight attendant. One day, I woke up asking myself, "Is this all to life?" Waking up, talking about passengers, talking about other crew members, and waiting to get promoted. And because the universe always has an answer to your question, and that lead led me to search for the answers, and that was when I started to, you know, take my spiritual journey very seriously. I enrolled myself in an angel class, which I thought I really thought I genuinely thought I was gonna see some angels, or either that I was gonna prove that everyone I was cuckoo and I was the normal one. When I got there. Everyone was tapping into something. They were able to feel something, and that got me curious. So as a result, I went home, burnt two candles, and learned how to meditate. And that was the beginning of it. Hey, this is Elisa Anne, and I'm from Singapore. And welcome to the Soul in the City. And I am the number one spiritual guide for women entrepreneurs who are ready to discover their soul, experience their true self. And to live beyond their wildest dreams, and I can promise you, when you are on this spiritual journey, your soul would lead you to a life beyond your wildest dreams. Because that's what it did for me. I was just a stewardess, you see, and I thought I was going to retire being a stewardess, and I thought I would be comfortable and happy with it. But we don't know what we don't know, and so when you know and you have a glimpse of what life has for you, why would you settle for less? Why would you not go on 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 an adventure? Why would you not see how far you can go? And so I have been a spiritual guide, and I have been an entrepreneur myself since two thousand and eight. It has been a long time. The journey has been up and down, and I have been presented a lot of challenges, and at the same time. Because of those challenges, I have been given、uh, all my gifts, and it has been a journey worth going through. So the reason why I'm so passionate about helping women discover their souls and experiencing their true self is because that's the only way to be. And when we are here incarnated on this physical realm, we have been conditioned to look at this world through a false self, and you can call the false self the ego self. So when I just started on this journey many years ago, and I knew and confirmed that this is the thing that I wanted to do for the rest of my life, and this is indeed my life purpose to help、um, human evolve. But it wasn't really going on a straight line, you know. All I thought that since I was doing God's work and all I needed was a domain and a website, and then I'm off to go, you know. God would just help me with the clients, and clients would just streaming in, and I was so wrong. And I met obstacles after obstacles and obstacles and obstacles. So I thought to myself, because you know I'm Chinese, right? So I really believed in karma. I really believed in past life, and I thought. Oh my God! You know, I could really feel the abundance right in front of my face. I could feel that success. I could almost feel that success, but yet there was just this block, this blocks after blocks after blocks. And so I thought I did something really, really terrible in my past life. I thought, you know, I'm really repaying my karma debt that I'm now being punished. And so I thought karma is really about punishment. But you know, after such a long time, ten years in this field, and after such, you know, an amazing journey, I realized that karma—it's not punishment. Karma is the law of cause and effect. And whatever that we are going through, the challenges that we, the ego self,、um, see and you know think that it is this torture, and we, as a result, put ourselves in this victim mindset. What I realize is, we just need to learn the lessons, and it would go away. And we, when we change the cause, our effect would change. And so, whatever situation that you're in, you know that you feel you're blocked, 
you can't get seem to get past this visibility block. You can't seem to attract the clients that you want. You can't seem to make the money that you want. You're always meeting the wrong people. You are not at the right place at the right time. People from the past seems to come, you know, be hounding you over and over again. It's not that you are punished. It's not that you're being punished. And it's not that you are cursed. And it's not that this is your fate. And this isn't your destiny for sure. It's just that you need to learn the lessons and move on. You see, the ego mind thinks that this is suffering, that you are being victimized. But really, the soul has only one soul purpose. The purpose for you being here on earth is to grow and to expand, you see. So then why are we here? It is because we have unfinished business. We have unfinished lessons. We have things to do. It's really unfinished business. So that is why when we read past lives, when I do past life reading, you don't have to go through the past life reading. The soul will show me what life you went through. And one of the reasons I don't encourage clients to go through because sometimes if your mind is not strong, you would still stay in the past. And I feel and I truly and strongly believe it's not in the details, but it is in the lesson. So you need to ask yourself, why did the soul choose this lifetime? Why did the soul choose these characters for you? And what's the reason? And the reason is very simple, to grow, is to learn the lessons and to expand. You see, we live in a realm of duality. Left must exist with the right, top must exist with the bottom. So I tell my clients, especially if you're a light worker, we have to go to hell to find heaven. Why? How do you know how heaven feels like if you haven't been to hell? How do you know how your clients feel like if you don't know how they feel like? Then there are so many people who feel like they are frauds because they are just book smart, they are teaching off the book, they haven't experienced exactly how their clients are going through. You have to go through those challenges so that you can grow as well, so that you can build your character. Your soul needs to mature as well, so do you. So we grow, and as we grow, our energy expands. And as our energy expands, we are able to help more people. We, are, we won't be able to, we will not buy into their stories of their victim story, of their drama, and we can stand strong so that we can hold the space for them to grow and to be themselves, right? So I truly believe in this work when we complete ourselves as light workers, when we complete ourselves as women entrepreneurs, magical things happen. Magical things can happen. Miracles can happen because we have completed ourselves. And when we have completed ourselves, then we can be in the space where we can give more and be more and do more, manifest more, attract more, so that money can come through us, love can come through us, so that we can have a bigger heart for the world. The last thing we want to be is a wounded healer, right? And we cannot give what we don't have. So if you are going through challenges after challenges after challenges after challenges, you are not able to get out of your current situation, then ask yourself this one question. What is your soul wanting you to learn? What is your soul trying to express itself through you? After all, this is just a physical body. This physical body will leave. This physical body will fade. But your soul lives on. Your soul is eternal. So beyond this physical body, what is this being that is wanting to express itself through you? And what is this thing called the soul wants to accomplish through you? So you have been chosen. In fact, all of us are chosen. All of us are here for a reason. All of us are here for a reason. That is why the trend now is to discover your true self in order for you to evolve, in order for you to help other human beings and suffering. It begins with you. So together, we can evolve as a collective community. Together, we can have a piece of heaven right here on earth. So I'm really excited about this journey and I'm looking forward to have you along with this journey. So
so stick around I blog really regularly and I also have a daily radio show on my page and I also do weekly mini readings on my Facebook group in my Facebook group so I invite you to join wherever you feel comfortable with and comfortable in and let's kickstart this journey and together we can do great things in life alright so I'll talk to you soon and uh, you take care bye bye